Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the next part in the Bake Shop Blanket series, the Donut Granny Square. So let's go ahead and get started. You are going to start with a beige color yarn. I used a beige um, from Karen One Pound just because it's what I had laying around and I tried several different beiges for this donut and this is what seemed to work best for me. So we're going to start with a slip knot and a chain of 10. So once we chain 10 we're going to be slip stitching into that first chain. So go ahead and slip stitch those together and I am using an H hook by the way for all of these granny squares. So go ahead and chain up two after we've slip stitched. Chain two and then we're going to do 12 double crochets into our ring that we've created. I didn't want to do a magic ring here because I don't want it adjustable. I want a fixed um, size so that we get kind of the donut hole in the middle. So after we've done 12 double crochets, go ahead and slip stitch together to your first double crochet and chain up two. After we've chained up two for this next round, we are going to be doing two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So you should wind up with 24 double crochets in this round. So here we are just working those two double crochets in each stitch. You can see there that there are two in the first, two in the second. And you're just going to continue this all the way around. And then we are just going to have one more round after this one before we are done with the basis of our donut and then we'll do the frosting separately. So go ahead and finish these two double crochets in each stitch, 24 total for round two. Here we are finishing that up and we're going to slip stitch it closed as always into the first double crochet of the round and we're going to chain up two. Oh, I'm sorry, chain up one. We're only chaining up one here because now we're going to be working some single crochets. So here in round three, our last round of the basis of our donut, we're going to work two single crochets in the first stitch. So there's one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, all the way around for round three. And then this is the last round of the basis of our donut. And we're just going to slip stitch that closed once we get all the way back around to the other side. And we're going to start with our new yarn. You can see how that should be looking there. So here we are slip stitching it closed. And then we can go ahead and finish off our yarn at this point. This is how your donut should be looking with that nice donut hole in the middle. You don't need a real long strand here because we're just going to weave in our ends. We're not going to use any of these ends to sew anything together. So we are done with that and we can set that aside and now we're going to start with a chocolate brown yarn. I'm doing a chocolate frosted donut and then I'm going to do some uh, different colored sprinkles on it. Um, but you can definitely play with the colors here. You could do a strawberry frosted donut, vanilla frosted, whatever you want to do. So we're going to start with a slip knot and we're going to chain 10 once again. We're going to start this um, frosting very similarly to how we started the um, donut itself. So chain 10 and then slip stitch into the first chain. And then once again we're going to chain up two and we're going to do 12 double crochets inside the ring that we've created. So exact same process for this first round with 12 double crochets. Once we work those 12 double crochets we can go ahead and slip stitch it closed and then this is where the pattern changes from the basis of our donut to the frosting. So here after round one we're going to chain up two and what we're going to do here is we're going to do three double crochets in that first stitch. We can see how the kind of donut holes fit together there. We want to make sure that one's not different than the other. So we're going to do three double crochets in the first stitch, three in the same stitch, and then we're going to slip stitch. There's our third double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to slip stitch in the second one. So go ahead and slip stitch in that next stitch. And then we're going to do three double crochets in the following stitch. And just keep repeating that around. So we're going to do three double crochets, slip stitch, three double crochets, slip stitch, all the way around to get kind of a scallopy frosting there. And we should wind up with um, six scallops. So now we can set that aside. I have this variegated yarn from another project. It has very short 
color changes you can see there. You don't want a variegated yarn with a lot of color changes if you want to use variegated for your sprinkles. Um, this is a yarn called Gumdrop, and I believe it's from Red Heart. Um, so we're just going to create a knot at one side, and we're going to sew these sprinkles on using a tapestry needle. This is not a fancy or complicated process. You could use um, any color of yarn for your sprinkles. You could do several different smaller pieces of different colors of yarn if you didn't have a variegated like this one and you needed, you know, you wanted to do rainbow sprinkles or that kind of look. So just go ahead and sew um, your sprinkles on. With this variegated yarn, it kind of changes as you sew around your frosting. I'm just sewing in a random pattern. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. Just go ahead and sew in and out with about, my sprinkles are probably about a centimeter long. I don't like real, real big sprinkles. You could always sew on like a, you know, frosting drizzle or use French knots. There's all different things you can do here. So now all my sprinkles are sewed on and I've weaved in my ends. And now we just need to sew that frosting onto the donut. So go ahead and thread your tapestry needle once again with that long tail from our chocolate frosting and you're just gonna sew that down all around the edges. Make sure to sew in that last round of frosting stitches we did on the outside so that nothing lifts. With that scalloping, it will lift a lot if you don't sew it down right around the edges. So for our granny score portion, I am using an almost aqua from the Big Twist Premium Yarns from Joann's. I don't know why they called this aqua because it looks very minty green to me. Um, but either way, it's almost aqua is what they're calling it. And we're going to just take our hook and insert in any of the stitches around the donut. It doesn't matter where you start. And you're going to just get that yarn attached to your project and chain up two. And we're going to do the same process that we've done with all of the other Big Shop blanket squares as far as stitching our granny square onto our little applique uh, bakery item. We're going to start with a chain two and then double crochet two and then chain up three and then do three more double crochets in that same stitch. And after this we'll, we will chain one. There we are finishing our third double crochet and we'll chain one. That is our first corner so that kind of corner cluster we will be repeating several times. Here you're going to skip three stitches, so skip three stitches and then do your center cluster, not a corner cluster, but a center cluster, so that's just three double crochets in the same spot. And then we're going to chain one once again and do a corner cluster. The little bit confusing thing here that I want to discuss with you guys is um, because of the number of stitches around the edge of our donut, each time that you skip and do a different cluster, here you can see me counting a little bit, um, each time that you do a cluster, we want to skip three stitches, and then skip four stitches, and then skip three stitches, and then skip four stitches. So what that means is our first corner cluster that we did, we're going to skip three stitches before we do that center cluster, and then we'll skip four stitches before we do the second corner cluster, and then skip three, Side cluster, skip four, corner cluster, skip three, bottom, middle, center cluster, skip four, last corner cluster, skip three, and then we will have our last side cluster here in just a moment. I will definitely have all of these instructions written out on my blog where I have posted the written pattern. So if you need to follow this like step by step, stitch by stitch, please go ahead and do that over on my blog. The link is in the description box below. So once we've slip stitched this first row together, you're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then into that corner cluster. And we're going to do three rounds of this granny square pattern. So just keep continuing on with rounds two and three. Now you can see we are finishing round three following the same pattern, just doing those corner clusters only in the corners and every other chain space, you will do a cluster of three double crochets. And once we've done three rounds of the granny square clusters, we are all finished with this big shop square. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little donut. It is adorable. I think it's my favorite one yet. I will definitely be posting the next one next Friday evening, so watch out for it. See you next time. Mm -hmm.